Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Thank you for joining us again. And today we'll be uh, dropping some black areas into these two panels. I'm gonna start by warming up just a little bit as I just got home from work and I'm gonna just jump into inking uh, these two panels. So before I do that, I'll just be doing some cross hatching in the background just to like get a feel for the page and I'm a bit more comfortable and I'll be trading in the pen for a brush so I'll be just indicating uh, some of the uh, areas of that tree trunk where the details are gonna be and where I can drop the shadows so I'll just tidy up some of the leaf elements at the corner down here and it's good that um, if you're starting out that you keep an open mind and try all the different tools and if for any reason whether um, they're not available or they're not sold in your area um, practice with the tools that you can get hold of and if you have an opportunity to acquire the other ones by all means do so and if you're an aspiring artist and you're trying to ink your own work you can try um, using a brush it'd be good practice it'll come in really handy because as you ink and you get used to doing these um, two-tone black and white drawings with cross-hatching at most you become a bit more proficient in terms of the brush use and an eye for contrast and this can very usefully uh, translate into painting and if you go back and forth you'll find that the painting is going to help you ink better and the inking is going to help you paint better it'll give you a bit of insight in terms of being or making like high contrast value adjustments to those types of um, values you find in paintings where they have a wide range of and of course if you're starting you can start with the uh, everyday variety of brushes and if you're more comfortable you can start to acquire slightly more expensive brushes and the thing with um, brushes in particular which I like and I've always said this to friends that it's always money well spent an expensive brush will definitely perform better than a cheaper one it's one of those things or one of the rare things where the value for money is reflected very very directly in how uh, that particular thing performs and it's a very very satisfying it's also a very um, flexible tool it's just a uh, very delicate it takes a bit of care but it's going to help you in terms of how quick you can be in terms of inking your own work if you're the kind of um, artist like me who um, inks their own work it's also very forgiving once you master it it's very forgiving in terms of it has a very wide range of line weights that you can get from it as opposed to a pen and will never run out of ink as long as you have an inkwell somewhere nearby but it's not gonna uh, dry out on you the tip is not gonna give up and it's just fantastic and if you haven't tried it you should but again uh, try everything and decide on what you like you could use a brush pen where 
um, is loaded with an ink cartridge and a brush uh, tip which provides for a better continuity of um, work that you're not always uh, dipping into the inkwell and breaking your stride in terms of the strokes that you want to lay down so a brush pen would definitely be good training wheels and an accompaniment accompaniment sorry for for using a brush because it will definitely um, speed you up the downside is that sometimes those brushes they get clogged or the ink distribution um, gets a bit wonky once it starts to dry a bit and of course you can have different sizes of brushes uh, like the one I'm using here for a larger black area it's easier to lay down um, bigger volumes of ink so this is a slightly larger brush and as you can see it's um, snapped in two but it still works so no loss there and you can see how much um, the brush saves you in terms of time so it's a fantastic tool and I, and I just love brushes uh, if I had all the money in the world I would spend some of it on brushes and the rest of it on transformers actually but that's getting uh, away from the point so <clears throat> we'll just tidy this up and of course um, try out your own stuff try a brush try a sharpie brush pen ball pen tissue paper uh, all sorts of things just give them a go and settle on something you like that gives you a look you want or a texture and uh, of course join us again for another video because we're about done here uh, subscribe like and we shall see you next time thank you